I never ever in my wildest dreams thought that I could have a career, a job in the film business. I never, I never knew all those names you see at, at the end of the movies. Somebody actually had to get paid to do those jobs. It never even occurred to me. So I wasn't one of those uh, people who grew up their entire life wanting to be a filmmaker. It was just something that interested me. I loved going to the movies. I loved learning about how they were made. But I was working in retail. I was a clerk in a pharmacy in my hometown in Connecticut. And through a variety of uh, personal uh, happenings and, and things in my life, um, I found myself with the urge to move to Los Angeles, California. And in 1980, uh, that's exactly what I did. I packed up everything I owned. I put it in my, my at that time, Datsun 280Z sports car. And everything I owned actually fit in it. <laughs> and I drove cross country to Los Angeles. Still, with no intention, no idea of ever working in the movie business. I went to work for a large uh, drugstore chain, still stocking <laughs> shelves and cashiering and, and doing that. But living in Hollywood, I would drive by the studios on my way to work. And I would you know, go through residential areas and see all these trailers and lights and big cameras and equipment and think, hey, that looks pretty cool. Um, so one day I looked into film schools, just on a whim. And I found this great film school in Los Angeles called Columbia College Hollywood. It used to be affiliated with Columbia College Chicago, but it's no longer there, two separate. And I knew I wanted something with camera because I always loved taking pictures. So I went down, I took a tour, and I enrolled. I was 28 years old. I walked into my first class, and I was scared to death. And I graduated, and two months after graduation, I was working on my first feature film um, with, I'd say, 80% of the crew were, were had been classmates of mine. It was a low-budget, independent film, and it just went from there. Um, I just started working in the camera department and as a second assistant cameraman, as a first assistant cameraman, and my career just blossomed. What does that mean, full focus? <laughs> Keep the important part of the picture in focus oh. all the time. Well, well, the focus focus. I've got to just be a smart ass and do it like everybody does to me. Doesn't the camera have autofocus? <laughs> <laughs> Not though. Well, this camera here, somebody's got to pull focus, as the gentleman said. Okay, fall down. How many of you have ever used a gearhead? Anybody? It's really hard. It's like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. You want to get really good at using a gearhead? Go to Toys R Us and buy an etch a sketch. Seriously. But this wheel pans. This wheel tilts. Now we can also put this camera on a standard fluid head that has the like the, the heads on these tripods here. You can just grab the little stick and pan and tilt. So what's happening when the camera operator is looking through the lens and following the action, standing right here is the first assistant with his or her hand on the knob of the focus mechanism. And you can, if you look at the monitor, you can see the focus shift as I turn that knob. So I like to tell people, when, when people, what I call civilians, people who are not in the business, when they say, well, what, did, what does a first assistant cameraman do? What do you do? And I say, I focus on things I'm not looking at. And they look at me kind of like you're looking at me. <laughs> because I'm not looking at it through the lens. The camera operator is standing here looking at it. I'm just standing here, and nine times out of ten, I didn't have a monitor when I worked in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I hate monitors. They're too distracting. So I'm just watching where the actors are, where they're walking, where they're moving. And I can see there's some T-marks on the floor here. So we put T-marks on the floor, on the ground, for the actors. And I measure from the, what's called the film plane, where the film sits in the camera, to their positions. Three feet, six feet, eight feet, ten feet, whatever it may be. And as the camera operator is following them, 
I'm turning this knob to keep them in focus wherever they, wherever they go. And those marks are a reference. <coughs> a director, a producer, a cinematographer will not accept the excuse, well, the actor missed their mark. That's why it's out of focus. If the actor misses their mark, it's my job to miss my mark the same distance.